Hello, in this video we are going to be covering saving the high score because at the moment if I play and let's say if I score one die it says one zero <laughs> yeah then save my high score and let's say if I die at zero you should have the high score of one it says negative one it's just getting incorrect value because we're not actually even assigning anything to high score yet so we're going to be assigning something and that is going to be the high score so we're going to be using some text file for this so open up a text data my favorite is sublime but notepad or text edit or something like that will suffice put zero in here save that and save it to your resources folder name this highscore.txt so this will be used to save our score again this will just be copied over using xcode or visual studio visual studio does it automatically xcode does not but i showed you how to set it up for xcode to copy it over once you've created that file you can actually go to the game over state.cvp and start well including our code to save to a file first thing you want to do is hash include fstream i already have it here this will allow us to use files so for input and output first thing you want to do is just read the file in and get any score that's there by default it's going to be zero and it'll just go up from there depending on how well the user is doing and how well on how hard you made the game <laughs> that's the real question so std if stream read file and we're going to do read file dot open and we just specify the path so resources resources for slash high score dot txt i'm not using a hash define for this i want you to do this on your own now because we are going towards the end of this course so I'm going to have actually abstract this out, put it into the definition file, into a hash define, and use that define. So that'll be a great learning experience. We're going to check if we can open the read file. So if read file dot is open, blah blah blah, blah should be able to because we are we've already created a default file which gets copied over. And then while we aren't at the end of the file, so while read file dot EOF so end of file so while this isn't true then we will just get the contents and put it into the high score variable there's only gonna be one line in there there should only be one piece of data but if you did let's say sort of string in the file maybe you have two files one for the score one for the actual player name maybe the player can put a name in there just make sure you set up put signing it to a integer sign it to some sort of string value so now what we're going to do is you could actually just see out the score here um we don't need to do that but you could do that. that's a great way of testing we're going to do read file dot close so we don't need to read the file anymore now we're going to create a our stream file variable i should say which is going to allow us to write to the file and for this we just specify the path so resources for slash high score dot txt this is the same as this so again you want to abstract these out put into one hash define and use that definition in here so now what we're going to do is check if the write file is open if we're able to open it again we should be all good and now all we do is check if the score is greater than the high score aka what we got from the text file on this line if it is then high score equals the score if it's the same we don't care about it because they haven't actually technically beaten their own score and we will do write file and we'll just write the high score whether it's been changed or not we will just do high score and now write file dot close and that is it so if we run this now click play i'm just gonna die say so zero zero fantastic and i'm gonna get a high score of one so i'm gonna go through the pipes and now die says so one one so let's see what happens if i just crash at zero say so zero one so the he has got the previous score let's see what happens if we get a score of one it shouldn't do anything to the high score value it's left it at one fantastic 
Now let's beat our high score by getting a score of two. Almost crashed into the pipe then. High score of two. Two, two. If I were to die after I get a score of one. So it's one, two. So our high score has persisted again. Let's finally just check that we can actually overwrite it. So again, so let's just get a score of three. I want to get a score of four, maybe five. I think that's enough now. And when I die, it goes high score five, best five. If I die, it says zero five. So we have successfully saved our score. In the next video, we will cover actually implementing the medal system right here. And you can easily modify the values or aka the different barriers for achieving a certain medal. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. You know, check out the source code. There will be a GitHub link with this video. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.